Hey guys, it's Don Bazi with Flipping Cars For Real. So I'm here today wanting to present to you something very important, something that I find that is the structure, that is the backbone to having this type of business, to selling and flipping cash cars and to doing buy here, pay here, our style. Um, with that no-nonsense type of attitude, the way to go about setting up your business and having the best success you could possibly have. There are 10 rules that I recommend not to break while doing this type of business. 10 basic rules. I say with these rules, do not go and deviate. I found that these 10 rules, if you stick with them, you will have success. You will make money. You will not fall to the wayside, fall into some pits and traps that could await you in the future. By sticking to these rules, the money gets into your pocket and you're able to have that direct relationship with your customers. You would have less worries, less headaches, and things will be streamlined and you could be able to have great amount of success. Trust me when I say follow these rules. Do not try to think, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it my way. You could go ahead, but you're gonna waste time, you're gonna waste money. Trust me, been there, done that. I'm trying to get you fast forward into the money. So I recommend following these rules. Let's jump into this video and let's get in there. Let's go. All right, so the 10 rules that I do recommend that you follow and that you make sure that you stick to and by following these rules and sticking to them, you will be successful. Now I say this with the highest confidence. Forget that, I'm not even gonna lie. Trust me, I think these rules will set you free and these rules will get you set up for the most success possible. I'm repeating this because that's how much I believe it. Rule number one, put the customer first. The customer brings in the money and the profit, period. They are your advocates and the main source of your referrals. If you treat the customers right, they will tell their friends, their family, they will come in and purchase your vehicles and keep purchasing your vehicles and you will keep making money. They will love you. Your business will be like an addiction to them. They never would wanna go to another place and buy another car if they are looking for the type of cars that you are selling, which are cash cars, low price cars, and you will have some upper end cars as you graduate forward, but you gotta make sure that they, those cars stay within your budget, that you can flip them fast. The goal is to flip them fast and to make the profit as quickly as possible and to be able to generate as much money as you can in a short amount of period of time. You do not wanna waste time. Rule number two, be legitimate. Do not break any state or federal laws. Protect your license. Do not let anyone jeopardize your license. It's okay to say no. If somebody says, or wants you to do something that illegal, makes you feel funny, gives you that awkward feeling, just say no, and, and that's it. You don't have to please them. You worked hard for your license. You went through the um, you know, loopholes. You jumped through the hoops. You did everything you had to do. Don't let some bad apple come and mess up the pot of money that you have received and that you've worked so hard to get. So be legitimate, rule number two. Rule number three, Make sure you place not for sale stickers on the vehicles that are not being sold currently on your lot, meaning they do not have a buyer's guide on the window or the windshield. Make sure you put a not for sale sticker sign or you write not for sale on the vehicle. The reason why I say this and I put in the top three rules is because if the federal government comes and does an inspection and you do not have a buyer's guide on your vehicle, they will find you $16,000 per vehicle. Imagine you have 10 cars on your lot that does not have a buyer's guide on there and they charge you $16,000 for every vehicle with no mercy. That will put a big hindrance on your business if not shut you down. So make sure you follow this rule and you walk around your lot to make sure every single car has a buyer's guide on it. A buyer's guide, which I will show you what it is, says whether the car is as is or there is a warranty of some type on the vehicle. Make sure you have that. Rule number four, make sure that you protect your titles and that you protect your customer's personal information. Usually the state or the government doesn't play with that and you wanna make sure you protect your titles because your titles are the key for you to be able to get the paperwork properly done at the DMV. You do not wanna lose any titles. It is a nightmare, it is a headache. Do not be 
negligent with the customer's titles, with the vehicle titles. Protect those things. Make sure that you have them secured. Rule number five, keep your word. Your word is bond. Do not deviate from your morals and principles. This will determine the longevity of your business. Do not deviate from your morals. Make sure when you say yes, yes means yes and no means no. If you decide you're not gonna give a customer any warranty, do not backpedal. If you say that you will do not have refunds, do not backpedal. Your word is bond. If you say you're gonna take care of something for a customer, take care of it, get it done. So you know that your word means something. That is rule number five. Rule number six, be strict with the nevers. The nevers that I will mention, stay strict with the nevers. Do not fall back on these nevers. The nevers are never charge a dealer fee when doing this type of business. Never check credit if you're doing buy here, pay here, and never charge interest. You will make a lot of money. Trust me, that marketing scenario with those nevers will make you make a lot of money. Stick with the nevers. Don't decide, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to charge a little bit of interest. I'm going to add a little dealer fee just to cover my cost. Or um, I'm going to go ahead and you know, maybe check the credit. They look a little shady. You are selling a car for $3,000 to $4,000, if not less. Do not charge any interest. Do not check any credit and do not charge any fees. Um, just don't do it. There's no reason to do it. Stick with that rule. Rule number seven, never offer a warranty if your state does not require to offer a warranty. If your state requires a warranty, get the minimum warranty state requirement and have the customer pay for it. Do not offer a warranty. In my state, it's not required that you offer a warranty. Do not ever offer a warranty on these cash cars. It is as is and keep it as is. Trust me, the headaches will be minimal. If a customer says that they do not want to purchase your car because you don't have a warranty, just tell them bye. Best of luck on your search for a vehicle. If you change your mind and the vehicle is still here, come back and we'll sell you the vehicle. Do not give them a warranty at all. Rule number eight, repossess ASAP. When doing in-house financing, if a customer fails to pay for the vehicle in a timely manner, repossess the vehicle as soon as possible. Do not let them play around with your investment. They don't pay, you don't play, go get your vehicle. You are giving the customer an awesome deal. No interest, no credit check, no dealer fee. All that you ask them to do is to pay on time so you could get your money and keep it moving and they could be done with their payments. You get out of their hair, they get out of your hair, less headache. You want them to finish paying off the car, like I mentioned in my previous videos, in six to nine months. You do not want this individual paying the vehicle for 24 months. Forget about it, all right? You want them to finish paying. Don't let them waste your time and keep giving you excuses. I've had a customer tell me that their father has died three times. Why did I listen to them when they told me their father died the second time? I don't know. But I went and got the vehicle. But because I stalled, the vehicle came back in horrible condition. If I would have gotten the vehicle immediately, the vehicle would have been in way better condition. I could have flipped it again. Don't make that mistake. I will not make that mistake again, I guarantee. And I do not want you to make the mistake one time. Learn from me and you will do what you need to do and get your money right. Rule number nine, never get a floor plan. Now, some individuals may say, but a floor plan allows me to spend other people's money. My financial advisor recommends that you loan money to be able to make money. Forget that, forget that. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Do your best not to owe anybody or any institution any money whatsoever. If you cannot afford it, do not buy it. Do not get a floor plan. You don't wanna be the type where you're sitting in a lot and your car is not selling and some company and some bank or some financial institution comes and tells you what to do. You are the boss. You are not somebody else's um, employee or associate, you are the boss. You run your cars. You wanna drive one of your cars home, 
you drive your cars home. You put your own plate, you drive it home, you take care of your business. You don't like the car to be on your lot, you get rid of it. You sell it for whatever price that you want to sell it. Do not let anybody dictate how you run your business. I am here to make you the boss, not somebody else's partner, associate, slash, you know, um, sidekick. No, you're the boss. You are the main event. I want you to be able to get that money into your pocket, not to anybody else's pocket. Rule number 10, no high interest rate or poor credit banks. Do not associate yourself with financial institutions, banks that are offering your customers these ridiculous high interest rates. Just because they're waving money in your face doesn't mean you have to accept it especially with the discounts they want to give you. And the discounts is not a good thing. They're not going to be able to give you the full amount of money that you could have gotten if you would have worked hard yourself. It's okay to sell more units than expect to make money off of one vehicle that some bank is going to be waving a check in your face. Forget that. Tell the customer to bring their own bank. They go to a credit union, they go to the bank, and they bring you your full amount of money. Do not associate with these banks if you're selling cars that are low priced. You're selling cars that are $2,500, $3,000, $3,500, $4,000, $5,000 cars that a customer is going to be putting down $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 down. You don't have to associate with these banks. Well, some people say, well, you know, I'm able to get the money quicker. Forget that. Forget that. Sell more cars at a lower price so you can be able to sell more units and sell them quickly. Do not associate with these banks. Do not have to stress yourself out with reading the fine print. Whenever you got to read fine print, you need to put extra glasses on to look at something. Forget about it. It's not worth it. Make the money yourself. Keep all the money in your pocket. Do not let anything come between you and the customer. When the customer gets repossessed by the bank and they paid 18 months and they had six months left to pay and they got repossessed, who are they gonna hate? They're gonna hate the bank? No, they're gonna hate you. Better that they hate you and you get the car back at four months from not paying than having them paid 18 months into the vehicle and the bank repossessed them and they have no communication really with the bank. With you, at least they could call you and have a conversation with you and you could work things out, you know? You don't wanna have anything between you and your customer. Do not associate with these banks. They're gonna come at you. They're gonna wave, you know, tell you all these beautiful things. Trust me, you're gonna waste your time and you're gonna come back and say, man, Mozzie was right. Forget about it. So I highly recommend that you follow these rules. Stick with these rules and you will achieve your goals. Be patient, you know, stick with your guns, know what you know, understand why I say what I say, research it. Don't just take my word for it, research it. Find out what these banks offer, find out what these other institutions are doing and see what you need to do. The more fine print there is, that's not better for you, all right? When somebody owns you, you're no longer the boss. You're a sidekick or a side piece. You want to be the boss and I want to get you there. Stick with us right here and I will get you to where you'll be able to make money, be able to be successful and be able to elevate yourself to the next level. I want you to be the boss and I mentioned that and I mean it. Keep a lot right here. Subscribe, like, share and let's get this money. Perfect.